Welcome back, friends. So I'm getting a lot of questions in our group about how to create a drag and drop frame uh, or multiple frames using an image where there is a lot of detail, such as hair. So I've got an image here uh, that I um, created through AI. And I'm going to take this image and I'm going to create an overlay. So this is one way to achieve that effect of multiple photos or a photo collage using a silhouette uh, where there is a lot of detail like here. So I'm going to duplicate this page because I want to keep or maintain my original image. And I'm going to take this image. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to the tracer app. And the Tracer app will convert this image into an SVG. So I'm just going to say Trace Image. And for the best quality, use an image where the background's been removed. And it'll take a few minutes. Tracer app is free to use. And I'm going to place this image on my workspace. I'm just going to set this one to the side. And let's take a look uh, at this uh, image right here. Now, what I want you to understand when you're looking at this image is that the black area will be the area that will create the overlay where you can place your photos behind. So this will be the transparent area, all the black. The white will be solid, so you won't be able to see any pictures in there. So now is your time to actually increase the threshold if you wanted to have more black space in your design. Now I'm going to leave it like this. So I'll come back to my workspace. I'm going to get rid of this here. And I'm going to decrease the size of this uh, SVG. I'm going to go to elements or you can just press R to press a rectangle on your workspace. And I'm going to place this rectangle here. I'm going to send it to the back and I'm going to change the color of that shape to black and then the color of my SVG. I'm going to go to edit and duo tone. I'm going to select custom and I'm going to change both the shadows and the highlights to the whitest white. Okay, let's take a look at this image one more time. Okay, so here it is. And now is the time for us to be closing any of the black gaps where you want to either show more pictures or you want more detail. So for example, the hairline. I'm going to press L and I'm going to add a line on my workspace. I'm going to change that line to white. And I'm going to use uh, curved lines. And I'm just going to create more detail with this image. So that we can tell that that's actually the hairline of a woman. Now you don't have to do this um, at all, uh, but I am going to do it and I'm going to create a another one and I'm going to place this one over here. Like that. And I'm also going to place another one on the head. So I'll make a duplicate. And I'll put this here. And I'll put this one here and I'll just put that right in there like that. 
And if you have a hard time with these lines, just, just press down the control button and that will help you to um, move the lines a little bit better. All right, and if there's anywhere else where you think you want to add some more um, detail, you can go ahead and do that uh, before we download it again. You can also add shapes to make more usable space if um, you want to, but I think I'm going to leave it like that and we're going to download this uh, right now. Now, the other thing that you want to make sure that you do is make sure that there is a lot of white space around the black shape because you want, we're trying to teach Canva what is the background. The background is the white space around. So then when we download it and re-upload it and we remove the background, it's going to say, oh, this is the background. It's white. I have to remove all of the white. So it's going to remove the white in here. Uh, as well. I think that moved, so I'm just going to move it back like that. Okay, so I'm now going to download this and I only want page two. So I'll download. I'll go to my next page and I'm going to bring that into my design. I'm going to wait for it to finish uploading and now I'm going to remove the background. Okay, let's go back into background remover and just make sure and yes, uh, we are good. So we now have an overlay uh, and I'm going to take a copy of this overlay and I'm going to bring it to a page down here where I have some photos already placed. I'm going to take this overlay and I'm just going to place it right on top. I'm going to stretch it. of these photos. And I'm now going to take that overlay and I'm also going to change it back to white. So I've got it grabbed. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to duotone custom and I'm going to change both the highlights and the shadows to white. Okay, so now it is white and we've got all, the, all these photos in behind our overlay. But remember, if I change the color to the background, we still have that white box. So we need to get rid of that white box. So I'm going to change this back to white. We're going to go back and we are going to download this. So we're going to come back over to share. We're going to go to download and we're going to download this one more time. And I only want page six. So I'm going to download this and I'll go to the next page. I'll wait for that to download. I'm going to grab it and bring it onto my workspace. Here it is. Now remember, I've got that white box around it. So I'm going to go to BG Remover and I'm going to remove the background. Now, one thing that you want to check once you've removed the background to your final image is you want to make sure it didn't remove something by accident. So let's go back into BG Remover. And what we're do, going to do is we're going to show the original image and we'll be able to just look and see if anything was removed by accident. Now it looks like everything is there, so we're good. So I'm just going to go back. Once we have this photo, we also can uh, add shadows. And we can grab this image, we can go to edit, and we can add shadows. So you can add an outline. So that's what a black outline would look like. Now that is super thick. So you don't obviously, you don't want it that thick. So you, we can bring it right down to two or three and that's what that would look like. Or we can also add a drop shadow for a little bit of a dramatic effect. And you also have the option to just um, reduce the distance for a more subtle look and also increase the intensity. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. This is just one way to create uh, um, a portrait photo collage, if that's what you want to call it. There are other ways too. We can also create custom frames, but I felt that this was the easiest way to um, do this effect 
uh, with an overlay. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, press that like button, subscribe. If you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions for other tutorials, leave that in the comments as well. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.